Hey guys, Mike here. So 6.30 in the morning, we're getting ready. We got a concrete floor to pour inside that building it's for a brewery, 60 by 40. So we got to pump it in the building today. We got a big crew today. We'll get it all on film, but this is the beginning of the morning for us right here. All right, so here we are on the inside. We got Stego vapor berry down. We got wire mesh. We got ISO strip all around the outside. We got multiple drains in here. We got a trench drain there. We got a trench drain there. We got another trench drain over there. Uh, we're setting up some some line right now. We got five inch line. We're getting in here. We're hoping that we can he can get his boom right inside that garage door quite a ways, so we don't have to put any more line on. But we'll see how that goes. This is it, we're just getting ready. Concrete's on the way, so we should be here shortly. what we like right there. The less line we got to put on, the better. Getting that thing over halfway into the building already. Finally got crude here, it's about 7.15. So we've been here 45 minutes, we got all set up, we're ready to go, just waiting for mud now. He's backing in, we got, we got 40 yards coming and we're hoping that's gonna do it, it's close. So we'll see what happens. Can you get a shot of that? Love it when it don't clog up. So we're on the third truck now. We got two down, we got two to go. We actually got a little balance coming already. We got just about half the floor done. 
Those first two trucks didn't look like they went halfway, so we got a little more coming. On the last truck just getting finished up right down to the last little piece here see the guys are screeding it out now so we got about a 14 by 10 just waiting to see if they're going to have enough mud before we pull the pump out ended up using about 40 yards right here so it figured right about what it was going to Got enough guys here today, so we had plenty of help. That, that was a big bonus. So we're cutting down all these trench drains. You can kind of see right there, there's a big lip 
we got to cut down, make sure we match. So we're just what we're doing, we're matching all this right now. Starting to mag float the surface out, getting all the bleed water off the surface that doesn't dry up. Got a big heater going right there. Got another big heater going way over there. But we're all working on it right now, getting the first float down. wiping this because of all the slopes we got here we got you know from the wall to the trench drain there's three inches pitch and it comes up three inches and then back down three inches and then up three inches there's a lot of slope here all over the place nothing's flat so we're not power trialing anything and they're putting a like an epoxy coating over this anyway so we just need to make sure the slopes are all good and that it's fairly smooth and then, uh, you know, the epoxy guys are going to grind it anyway before they put the epoxy down. So this is the last hit. This will be the third time we've gone over it by hand. And then we'll be done here for today. This floor is going to end up being for a brewery. That's why they needed all the floor drains in here. So there was three trench drains and there was three other drains in those little sections you see in the, on the left and the right, and then one in the other room. So there was six total drains. There wasn't one section of this floor at all that was flat. It was all sloped to something somewhere. So that's one of the reasons why we just finished it by hand. The coating that goes on this is about quarter to three eight, three sixteenths of an inch thick. So it covers pretty much everything. Now I came back the next day, the next morning, and we sawed a bunch of contraction joints in this. They had they had saw cuts every, going everywhere, so I had to measure everything out, snap my chalk lines, and then I saw cut it. We didn't do it the same day because the floor was so green that we couldn't really get on it with a saw. But we got back here pretty early to do the saw cutting. I used my little, I got my little soft cut saw here. This is one I've had for years. This is an electric one. Now I have a gas powered one too, that's a little bit bigger, but the guys had that on a different job today, so I just brought back the electric one, it worked pretty good, had my mask on, and that was it. This floor was for a brewery, it was about 60 by 40, and it took about 40 yards, so that's it guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.